Hey guys, welcome to the March 31st edition of Marketing Strategy. This is your mini lecture for the week. Um, please view this lecture and email me certifying that you viewed it, that you understand the contents and that you understand the requirements for attendance this week and we'll be fine. I'll be able to give you um, attendance credit for Tuesday. I wanna go over briefly what's due this week because a lot is due this week. Um, so this week we cover chapter nine, which is implementation of the marketing strategy. And I'll give you a little teaser before uh, we end this lecture, but um, you will have a discussion board post and it is on market implementation. Uh, and if you were implementing marketing strategy, uh, what strategy you would use, so that's a discussion board forum post. It's the initial post is due by 11.59 on Thursday. Uh, remember the initial post should be 150 to 200 words. And then by Sunday at 11.59 PM, you should have responded to at least two of your classmates initial posts um, and move the discussion along. And once I see those uh, three posts, I can give you credit for attendance on Thursday, um, April 2nd. So that's what we're looking at there. You also have a classroom activity that is due April 2nd, and you can find that in module three under classroom activities. I think it probably says role plays, review questions, classroom activities. You'll find it in module three. Uh, and we would have done this in class as a group activity, but since we're doing this course online, I'll just have you answer the questions and submit a Word document uh, to get those 50 points, uh, which is a lot of points for classroom activities. So go ahead and do that as well. And then finally, the big thing, uh, your marketing plan, your marketing strategy plan is due by 11.59 on Sunday. I look forward to reading them. Um, we've been talking about it all semester. If you have any questions or concerns about it, please uh, contact me as soon as possible. But that is due um, by 11.59 on Sunday. And then the following week on April 7th, you've got your Peregrine exam. This Peregrine exam is a standardized exam. You take it online. Uh, it is for points here, uh, but don't worry if you don't do as well as you expected. Uh, it will not completely affect your final grade. I'll tell you more about that next week. Um, but we do that for institutional research and report to other business schools and there's no identifying information, just statistics. Um, and we get to compare, actually we don't report it to other schools. Uh, we just compare it to previous years within our school uh, to see how well we're doing as teachers uh, in teaching you, in this case, the marketing uh, exam. So, that, so that's what we're looking at. Um, for the next couple weeks um, going forward. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me, email me, text me, call me, however you wanna get in contact with me. I'm here to serve you and to help you and to walk you uh, through anything that you need help in um, so you can be successful in this class. I think you guys did a really good uh, job on the FTC the discussion board of last week. Um, I think uh, your discussion and comments were insightful and good and, and to keep up the good work with that. Uh, I look forward to um, hearing your responses to this week's discussion board um, regarding marketing plan implementation strategies. So let me give you a teaser um, about this week's material. We are looking at chapter nine. Um, so please read chapter nine in your text. And it is in, and it is about marketing implementation and marketing control. And so, wow, you, you identified your segmentation strategies, your target market, um, you've looked at your product, your price, your promotion, your distribution, all of the marketing mix components. 
and you've got this wonderful document with an executive summary in the beginning because executives are really busy and they just want you to cut to the chase. Uh, I want you to think of this marketing plan that you'll be submitting uh, on Sunday um, and that if you were doing this in the real world, you would be implementing. I want you to think of this marketing plan as a roadmap, a roadmap to guide all of your marketing activities, a roadmap to get a roadmap to get from point A to point B and to increase top line sales. Remember, top line sales, the uh, top line results are we're talking about sales. Uh, so as marketers, we're concerned about top line results and we've got this wonderful marketing plan. How specific is it? How practical is it? Well, we'll know when we start to implement uh, the plan. So chapter nine talks all about marketing implementation, marketing control. Um, what is marketing implementation? The process of executing the marketing strategy by creating and performing specific actions that will ensure the achievement of the firm's marketing objectives. It's intricately tied to the marketing strategy. Both must be done well to achieve the firm's objectives. All firms have two basic strategies, the intended strategy, which is what the firm wants to happen. And you know what, the realized strategy, that strategy that actually takes place. Uh, hopefully there's not that much of a gap between the intended strategy and the realized strategy, but in reality there is somewhat of a gap. So I need you to understand those two distinctions, those differences, and to think about ways that we can uh, lessen the gap between those two. And we talk about the link between planning and implementation. There's some interdependency involved, right? Implementation depends on strategy. Strategy depends on implementation. So strategy and implementation go hand in hand. Uh, there's evolution involved. Planning and implementation must evolve over time because things change. By the time you start your implementation and the time you end your implementations, a lot of things could have happened. So the implementation, the planning and the implementation must evolve over time because environmental factors constantly change. And you know what? There's no single correct way to implement a strategy. Finally, the separation. While planning is often done at the top of the organizational hierarchy, implementation occurs at the front line of the firm. You know, in the best of all worlds, top leaders get together with frontline staff to develop and implement strategy. Sometimes that's not the case. So there's this whole concept of separation. Uh, it's some really fascinating stuff in chapter nine. So I encourage you to read the chapter, look at the PowerPoint slides, uh, put the finishing touches on your final marketing plan that you'll be submitting to me. And reach out if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help you in any way that I can. Hey, it's been a pleasure, guys. I look forward to working with you this week. Um, I'll see you on the discussion boards. Take care and be safe.